Hi, I'm Olivia, and this is Ritual Kitchen, where I like to start little herbalism pro uh, projects, learn about mushrooms, come up with recipes, or, you know, share kind of random ethnobotanical -botan facts. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about goldenrod, which is Goldrute in German, just in case you are interested. It is another good plant for making tinctures with, and it's super abundant in Berlin in the late summer, and abundant in the US and probably other countries. And um, so today I'm just gonna be draining this. I've had it for since about September. I'm gonna strain it, get all the um, plant material out of it, and then I have my little um, tincture bottles, which are cleaned and ready for uh, being filled. So goldenrod grows in nearly every type of um, soil. It's uh, very abundant and it blooms between August and October. So that is the best time to pick it when it's, um, when it's blooming, when the flowers are out. And that's also when it's super, like, it will be very obvious to you because it's like, really tall and um, kind of loud and bright yellow and it smells nice as well so that one is um, easy to identify and easy to pick and it's good for multi like multiple things so you want to use the upper parts of the plants and the flowers just everything that is above ground supposedly on like a metaphysical level it is a plant that is good for people who are kind of nervous or afraid to enter into deeper connections. Um, I always like to look up these things because they can kind of give you clues to where you are in your own life. There's often a lot of coincidence in the timing of when certain plants or mushrooms come into your life or when you get introduced to them. So I always like to look up that information as well just to see, you know, what, how am I doing? Uh, how's my body? What's it wanting? Because um, you just got to keep your ears open for that kind of stuff. Goldenrod is associated with the sun, which is pretty obvious. So like upward and out and um, yellow, that bright yellow color. And it's also associated with Venus. So as far as herbalism goes, it's one that is good for your bladder and your kidneys. It can help you pass kidney stones a little bit easier. It can help with infections and with pain. It's good to drink as a tea. And the goldenrod doesn't destroy or like break down kidney stones, but it might make it a little bit easier for them to move and it prevents further growth. So it'll prevent them from getting bigger at least. Goldenrod is also good for your blood, clearing your blood, and it's good for rheumatism. So it's good for your joints. It's also a good one to use, like, for example, golden, as a tea, golden red tea, is good for when you're doing fasting or removing toxins, which makes sense because your bladder and your kidney, kidneys are the, um, the parts of your body that are taking care, that are taking care of that kind of elimination process. And it's supposed to be good for chronic, like, um, sinus infections or, like, reoccurring sinus infections, and for hay fever. And according to Hildegard von Bingen, who was a, um, a woman who worked in a monastery in Germany hundreds of years ago, and was one of the, is still one of the main authorities on herbalism to this day, she said it was also good for the mouth and throat, so to use as like a gargle just to clear that area out. So now that you've heard plenty of facts, I'm just gonna do this part. Sometimes I like to put like a stone or a crystal in these concoctions. I don't know how good it is for the, for the crystal, but I feel like it lends something. Even if, it, even if I'm just imagining it. But crystals are very, um, very powerful as well. They've been around for a long time. So why not put 
beautiful golden rod together with a beautiful yellow stone. So all of this plant material can then just go in your compost afterwards. I just got some paper towel to just squeeze out a little bit more of the liquid. So there we have our all our tincture material. I'm just gonna do a little taste test. Not unpleasant. I approve goldenrod. Quite up. It feels uplifting. Now I'm just going to fill up as many bottles as I need of this and then we're good to go. So after I have all of my little bottles filled, all I have to do is close them up and let it click and then they're nice and sealed and um, I can gift them or pass them on to other people. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Please send it to someone who might be interested, maybe someone you know who has um, issues with their bladder, kidneys, with rheumatism, with hay fever. Yeah, I also have a little Etsy shop where I sell some tapestries about mushrooms, what you can do with them, like edible mushrooms. And I also have an Instagram, um, currently I still have an Instagram where I also share infographics about food and plants and health. So check those out. And um, I also <laughs> offer um, healing work, remote, uh, quantum healing, so uh, past life regressions. And I will also link my website and my YouTube to that under this video in case you are interested. And um, yeah, thank you and talk to you soon.